Hey everyone, I'm Clue. Welcome back to more Nuclear Throne. So we'll probably just make our way down the list. Although, we do want to go for the unlock. So we have to reach five something and the Nuclear Throne. Let's probably defeat the Nuclear Throne, right? Uh, this is the Radiation Monster, so we just have to skip some stuff. But anyway, we'll play Crystal. Right, and once we've played them all once, we'll probably just go with Random. But Crystal's ability is to essentially turn into a Crystal, right? Uh, well, I don't know what their passage is, though. I think it's just more HP, right? We start with two extra. But basically, we can reflect. No, just destroy. Which is still fine, right? It's a little safety net. It's a complete opposite of melting. If anything coming towards us, we can just do that. Oh, okay. Except it has a timer. I did not realize. Is it time? Yes, it is a timer. I was wondering if it's the amount of hits or a timer. It's a timer. You can't just turtle forever. Fortunately, we couldn't quite skip that. Oh, well. Okay, we have kills lower the reload time. Enemies touching you take damage. Generate ammo or shells. Probably just go with trigger fingers, I think. The screwdriver. Quite nice. I don't know if this one taps. It does. That is decent. And it can also destroy bullets, which is good. Although it's already quick, so it doesn't really matter. Leave that scorpion alone now. No, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use the, the screwdriver and crystal. It does not feel good. And we took a bunch of contact damage. Give me something good. A disc gun is not good. It is still an upgrade though. So as the name implies, it shoots saw blades basically. Discs. They bounce, I think, which is somewhat decent. Do they bounce? Yeah. So depending, or oh, only once. So depending on if it's like a corridor, they could be quite useful. I don't know if they damage us. Did we skip the canister or did I walk into it? I can't remember. No, we skipped it. Perfect. Okay, so we just need to skip every single one we see until they become a big one. Yeah, I'm not so great with the weapon selection so far. And that is an upgraded scorpion. That is also pretty bad. Plus, we have the boss on this level. So this is a fun time all around. Oh. Hopefully that dealt with enough stuff. Very much like the ammo though. You need to go. I need the HP. There's a upgraded canister, which is good. So basically we want to not clear here and not walk into it. And we want to fight big bandits over this way. With our very bad weapons. It's all right, we can crystal. Every time he shoots. It would be nice if they bounce back at him. That's what will do. That was not the last enemy. Interesting. You? No. You. Almost took some contact damage again. Go on, give me something good. We have extra health, regen. Probably the regen. Yeah, probably the regen. This is a decent start on a very bad character. Well, aside from the weapons. The perk wise. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of unnecessary damage. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Sincere apology. I assume that's that. I did not realize they... They do you in. You know, we'll, we'll do crystal again. That was fairly short. That is why the disc gun is horrible. Because apparently it damages you too. The more you know, right? And we shot him into the canister. Fine. Give me a decent weapon. Assault rifle. I guess. More bullets. Eh. Good, good little mutation. Enemies touching you, take damage. We could go for like a contact build. Do we want to go for contact build? No, we'll go bloodlust. Yeah, we'll, we'll play it safe. As we get a mountain of scorpions. It's fantastic. And a bunch of worms with contact damage. Very much like the medkit. And all the radiation. There's a nice experience level. Ah, and a crossbow. Crossbow is something we definitely like. Don't, 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 don't. Ah, oh, God. I knew it was going to pop there. And also, I didn't swap to the crossbow for the ammo, so that's annoying. No damage. Damage taken is dealt to all enemies. 
that's probably what we want, considering we have the high HP. And we have Blood Lust to regen. So a little bit of contact damage goes a long way now. He says as he gets hit a bunch. And then some more. Right, med kits. Oh, this is not this is not a good character for me. There's another med kit that we can't avoid damaging. Not med kit, uh canister. Radiation canister. Bring ammo. At least we made it past Big Bandit. Okay. Homing bolts would be nice. The crocodiles are a little annoying. Same with everything going on here. Well, at least it's dealing with them. Yeah, and I would like the canister. Let's, uh, let's play someone else. I don't like eyes either. Again, like, my, my main choices are, like, melting, YV, and steroids. But we'll give it a go. I think we can attract stuff, which is okay, I guess. It's not the greatest. It's like a weak version of crystal. Oh, you want to skip that. Yeah, so it pulls chests, radiation. I don't know if it pulls bullets. That would be bad. Grenade launcher. It's probably something we want. Uh, no, I want the shotgun. I don't want the pistol. Yeah, we'll go like that. Leave that alone. We'll try and get at least something out of today's runs. Right, some sort of unlock would be nice. And of course we get hit. And we didn't even get a level. Yeah, this is a great start. Shoot first, ask questions later, and take a bunch of damage. Yeah, so it attracts enemies. That's not good. Uh, do we skip chests? I, I feel like skipping that. Our weapon selection is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. And there, we skipped another canister. We have the grenade launcher for Big Bandit. Uh, definitely less HP on enemies. Increase our damage. And now I kind of want to just wait for him to spawn around here because there's not that many enemies. But I think we'll do just that. Yeah. Keep moving. Duck and cover. Alright, he's done. Not so hard if you have a proper plan. Oh, and there we go. This should unlock our, our new character. Which I completely forget the name. Although I'm saying that, it's going to be a, a bit of an annoying time dealing with it. Because it is quite a strong enemy. <laughs> yep. My best bet is just... You know what? Just... A grenade got me. Ah, horror. I remember. It's horror. <laughs> uh, probably want to want to get it later. Right? You probably want the early mutations. And the radiation. Does it do anything to them? I feel like the the throne butt causes it to uh, redirect bullets. Slightly off you. So until then, it's just like a a really, really weak crystal. Shotgun again, and low HP. Fantastic. Yay, no level. Always a great level one. One, 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 one. When you don't get a level up, and when you walk into Chris. Isn't it weird? When I'm the, like, the weakest character. No, no, that's not the phrasing. Because melting is super strong. <laughs> the least healthy character. I, I play it so safe, and when I have all this extra HP, I just let everything go to waste. We got a crossbow, because we got bolts, so that's good. Bit of accuracy, I guess. But this doesn't really matter, because we attracted ourselves. Ah, I think it doubles. I think they work together. We definitely want the crossbow. And this is, this is death. This is, this is, this is death. This is death. This is, this is, this is, yeah. You get what I'm trying to say. Somehow. Somehow this is working out. 
Give me the shotgun. Just walk in circles. Getting close. Alright, I don't know how that panned out, but it did. I guess this isn't death. So this is a very juicy level, but also a very, very tough level. That's what got me. That's what got me. I'm not playing Ice. Plant. Speedrunning characters. Okay, so Plant is a very good snare, and I think its upgrade deals damage. So basically, uh, enemies can't move through it, which is fantastic. So you can just, you know, shoot out in front of you, and you don't have to worry about enemies getting close. It's fantastic, especially for, like, maggots that pop out. It's definitely something you want to spam. As long with just your normal weapon. There is just way too much going on. Oh, and I think our passive is movement speed. Slugger is nice. A condensed shotgun. I don't like the machine gun. I feel like I can just spam click quicker with the pistol. Is that another one? No, it's a shotgun. Okay. Probably scary face. Yeah. Less HP is always better. Yeah, snare them and shoot them. I do like a wrench with the snare as well. That is quite nice. Do I swap off of uh, the pistol for a wrench? I'm very tempted. Because basically you just snare them and then hit them. And they can't do much about it. Plus then we have the advantage of knocking back bullets. Which is very helpful. Uh, I would like to go for horror. I like the shotgun more than... Ah, uh, nah, it's not going to work. I like the shotgun more than the laser pistol. But I like the laser pistol more than the wrench. Long arms, right not? We definitely want thrown butt for the snare. Just a good upgrade. I feel like you can still shoot in the snare. As long as we just walk in circles around him. Except if he goes into a very horrible spot. Alright, but well we got HP back. Let's skip the weapon crate, I think. Just having a wrench of time. Is that fun work? I don't think it does. Okay, so it's sewers with a wrench. It's not fantastic. is a lot better as long as we can just snare the rats and they can't come to us. We are the other ways first. Make sure nothing can sneak up from behind. Looks like we can't. Good. Snare, hit, snare, hit. Nice and simple. Anything coming at us, it's whack with the wrench. Skip that, because again, I do want to go for horror. Bolts, pop rifle. Nah, I like the slugger more. We do have to ditch the wrench. I would very much like to find a better melee weapon, though, since we have long arms. Thrown butt. Thrown butt. God, I'm not good with THRB or TT. Is it the... No, it's the N2Ts that I'm, I'm struggling with. Anyway, snares finish enemies under 33% HP. It's good. That plus scary face is really powerful. Should make our wrench... Pretty much a one-shot for a lot of things. Which means we don't actually have to get rid of it. There's the next canister. Definitely want to blow up the car. Get through the trap. Problem is, we can't get too close. Because they explode. I want to finish off the stuff up here first. Yeah, you. Without damaging that. Perfect. I think we will take the bazooka, since we're in, like, this melee build. And I can use the bazooka against, uh, Big Dog. I think that's boss name. Junkyard Dog. Something Dog. We can even go through there. Not that we need to. 
There's the car. Our weapon is a sort of shotgun, which is nice. We'll keep the bazooka. Chain reaction. Explosives. All right. Now, horror should be on this level, I think. She is slightly bad. As long as we can snare him, he's not too much of an issue. Plus, we have long arms, so we can hit through walls, which is always good. Uh, that is not low. Just shoot the snares. And try and do our best. Find a little alcove to hide in. Anything comes at us, the snares can do the work. I don't know if it stops fire. Definitely, I know it stops horror. Oh, but we got it. All right, at least that's something for today. Horror unlocked. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah.